Today I am making a African dish. My uh, children requested that. They don't like fish. So here in my pot, I have turkey neck. And over here, I have fish. They are defrosted. They did clean them up already, but you know, you still have to do your own cleaning because sometimes there are some scales still left back on it. Yeah, then here I have onion. The ginger is for something else, so let me take it out. But we have onion, we have garlic, and we have bell pepper or paprika, and my food processor. And in my little jar here, I have some crayfish. Plus, um, they like the peanut butter sauce more. That's their favorite. So I got also this peanut butter sauce. This is one of the best. It's really intensive in flavor. And this palm oil here. So we are going to get started by cooking the turkey neck. And uh, yeah, if you like, you can use this turkey neck just by cooking it in pure water and salt. You don't have to put any stock if you don't want to but if you want some more <laughs> flavor then you can add it in but for me now i am yeah as i said for me i am going to put some water on it wash it cook it already cut it so let's get some water and turkey neck does not need long to cook it really goes fast I'm using my pressure cooker here. And we are going to eat this with um, maize, white maize or white cornmeal. Because, you know, I'm making fufu and uh, you need a lot of sauce to eat it with it. That's why. So, let me now bring the to the stove and now I'm going to add the salt in it I'm going to now put the salt in it As I said, if you have nothing against using Maggi cubes, you can go ahead and use it. I have crayfish here. Maggi cube crayfish flavor. I'm going to drop it in it too. You can find them without MSG in it, but sometimes they also trick you. You won't see the MSG on it. But you will see this E E hundred and I don't even know remember. But when you see something with E hundred and ninety or something like that, I guess you know what I mean. Then you know that's also the chemical formula for MSG. <laughs> yeah. So I add that in it. Plus, I have my adobe or the adobo goya seasoning. I'm going to put it in it as well. I have thyme. Thyme. One pinch. Now I am going to close the pot so that it cooks. Now we let 
let it cook good in the meantime let's change station now what i'm going to do here over this side i need to get a proper stative so I need my knife. Here's the food processor. Right here. I need to sharpen my knife. use a plate if you don't want this seeds in it you don't have to use it I have pepper here and I also have okra, frozen okra, and I also have frozen leafy spinach. Now I'm just going to cut them up in small pieces to put them in the food processor. And I will only use, I think, half a pepper. Yeah. I don't like when you're eating, you know, food 
and you are only concentrating on the pepper there there's no flavor of the other food because the pepper kill it <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about so i think i have to make two batches of this because not everything can fit in there And I want at least my onions to go in there. I also want the garlic to go inside. In the meantime, while I'm processing those, I'm going to put on the pot on the fire to make it get hot. So, garlic. That's the easy way to get the garlic out of the another peel I mean you can also use the skin because when it's cooked the garlic peel it becomes also very soft you won't even notice it's in it So now I have to start with the processing. That's it. So I will just take a spoon to scrape out that.
Okay, let's do another batch. To pepper. Garlic. forgot yeah we're eating it with fufu but also yam because my kids they don't like much yam that's why can smell my oil is hot
now that we have this prepared, we can put it on the side and concentrate on the fish. water for later now we are going over to the fish so as I said you still have to look if it's needed to be done I'll scale on it Everybody like fish head. <laughs> so I am going to cut it off. To make soup. So. You see, you still need to clean inside, huh? your fish. Okay, this is fine. Go to the next fish. Sharpen the knife again. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the fish again, cut off the head. And wash. Mm -hmm. 
let's clean up the station a bit. to get rid of some of the 50 kale. Okay, now I'm taking a kitchen towel to pat the fish dry. going to cut it in half since only four of us are going to be black pepper and salt a bit, put it inside, not so much. Gonna take it to the frying station. <laughs> and the oil is really hot. Need this knife. 
go. So now I'm taking you to the other station. The oil was really hot. <laughs> but no, it's okay. Until it reaches the temperature, the fish will be cooked. So it's fine. to peel the yam. from the apple shop and uh, yeah sometimes you're lucky you get a very nice piece of yam and sometimes not like when you look at this one here you have to cut it off and throw it away and then we will see how many yam that we have left <laughs> So when you buy yam, you could say you might only get a half of it. Yeah. anyway how much you want to throw away it cost me like 20 euros so i have to see what i can get but that part yeah i don't think and i hope okay so now this is also hopeless hopeless case it all went through can throw that away okay let's check the other parts good thing i bought another piece of yam yeah look how much i have to throw away look at that mm -hmm. So 
bolso. I bought today how how is that one going to be so that's all going into garbage it's a pity right store the yam in the shop yam need cool place to store yam is very healthy so when you cook the yam in the water don't throw the water away you can drink it if you want to know the benefits of eating yam then yeah you have to google it i only know my grandmother always gave it to us to drink she always said it was healthy i remember i did make a research on it but i can't remember what it was about If I find it, I will include in the video, in the description box. Yeah. Okay, I will search for it. The benefits of eating yam and drinking the water. The boiled water, of course. And then I will let you know.
down first. process them as well. Let's put the croissant in it. Yeah, then later when we continue, I will show the video then. Let's check out the fish, what it's doing. some more and then yeah we're through almost i have the other yam here i'm going to check it now as well and to see how it is and then uh, i will freeze it quality is not not so good either well i guess i have to just cook all of them today take off as much as I can because then I would have to really throw away my yam. It would be a waste of money actually.
now I'm just going to cut up the yam and then cook it with the rest again then for now I'll make a pause in the video and then you will see me later okay so the fish is finished frying and uh, yeah I will now set it aside So the yam is finished cooking, the meat is also finished and now I'm going to put the sauce here. I already poured some palm oil in it because I had to kind of melt it. So this is the meat, eh? the turkey neck. Yeah, And we will use some of this turkey neck sauce into the sauce as well. Plus I have spinach and also my here, uh, okra. So let me increase the flame. Those are the little frozen spinach, they are like this. Leafy like this, so you have to press, press out a bit to get it. It's coming. <laughs> When I buy this again, I will cut this open and take it out with a nut jar. Maybe when the peanut butter jar is finished, then I will put it in it. Okay, so while that is defrosting, I will take the yam. To the other station here. Let me set up the stative here again.
I just add the rest of the tomato paprika mix in here. And now I'm going to put the crayfish inside. Let's hope it stays there. All right, so I am just going to put the yam pieces in here very small so that you can process that whole thing. Tastes like yam afterwards. I won't make any fufu today because the fufu, uh, my friend who I was preparing it for, she's not coming. So no need to make that.
that's when I'm telling you we have enough. Right back. 
Geklingelt. Marco?
Okay, I will proceed this way and then when I'm finished, I show it to you. But now you can see these yum fufu balls. And this is our granite soup with turkey neck and the fish. The fish I did not put inside here. But it's on the other side as we know. Okay. That's nice to hear. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. finish <laughs> yes so the granite soup is finished and it's delicious and here I did the uh, right um, the um, yam in the processor and it became like a dough and then you just roll them and you have your fufu yam roll or fufu yam ball yeah or yam fufu ball I would rather say yam fufu ball yeah so that's it yum balls and then now i will just share it out So that's it of course we'll be eating more i mean <laughs> that's just for sure at the moment yeah but i hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up and you will see me in my next video okay bye I just made this granite soup with okra and spinach and turkey neck. Mm, it's very yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I also made here yam ball. You just cook the yam as soft as it can and put it in your food processor and mix it until it becomes a dough. Then you take it out and form your yam balls or your yam fufu balls. Okay, that's it. Bon appetito!